welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I am going to take you on the Charlotte Metro train here. I know a lot of you are probably thinking like, what, Charlotte has a train? Yeah, Charlotte has a train and today we are going to ride it and I am going to show you, um, I'll just take you along with me so we can check out the city. Right now though, it currently has about one line. Um, the line starts at I-485 station, which is like kind of like South Boulevard, closer to, if you know this area, um, the Pineville area, which is closer to the South Carolina border, and it takes you all the way North Charlotte to like the UNC, University of North Carolina area. So today we're just gonna ride it. We're gonna, we are starting off at the I-485 station and we're gonna ride it to the Uptown, um, to Uptown Charlotte. Uptown Charlotte is where the, you know, the, the city life is, the CBD, the skyscrapers, nightlife, most of the things that you know, like you would love to see in a big city, we're gonna ride the train there um, right now. So come along with us, let's ride it together. So here's kind of a map of what I was saying. So we're currently here at the I-485 station and then um, it goes all the way up to the University of North Carolina, but we're gonna be getting off right around here, the CTC, Charlotte Transportation Center Station, so you can get um, kind of like a look of what Uptown Charlotte looks like. And you can buy your tickets here. I actually went ahead and I already bought mine, but you can buy your tickets here. Tickets run about $4.50 round trip, but you can buy around, um, you can buy like day passes, you can buy weekly passes for about $30. And also you can buy like just the one way ticket for $2. $2. I think we're about to miss the train. <laughs> Hi. A lot of people, well right now, we're, we're riding the train like very, very early in the morning on a weekend. And so um, I guess not many people are on the train right now, but typically um, pre-COVID, pre-COVID-19 of course, this train would be packed during the week for like, um, for people that work in the city, you know, and live kind of like on the outskirts. You know, it's similar to like big cities where people don't necessarily live in the big city itself but live on the outskirts and rather commute into the city. So the train is normally packed with that, right? People drive here or like Uber, whatever it is, to the train station, catch the train the next and go and, well, and catch the train to work. So I guess we're lucky to kind of like have it to ourselves for right now. <laughs> The next stop is Arrowwood Station, with bus connections to routes 24 and 56. Please check the bus schedule for available service. The next stop will be
this tight bullet station. Please exit left.
so we are getting off the train at Carson Station here because there's some um, so there's a bit of construction going on on the rail lines and so the train is only going as far as Carson and then we're to jump on a shuttle which will take us to um, which will take us to where we we need to go the CTC station um, I don't know if you guys can hear me but <laughs> But yeah, so we're essentially now going to catch a bus that will take us to the CTC station that we are going to. You're fine. So yeah, so let's go hop on the shuttle bus. There are like, there's so many people out running this morning. And here's this, like, this is, um, so Carson Station is kind of like close to what we call like the South End area. Um, there, are, there are so many bars and pubs and breweries in this area, to be completely honest with you. Um, you get a lot of like loft style apartments here. So most of this in this area is brand new, completely new. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard me say a lot in my other videos that Charlotte is like constantly changing literally the city under construction so most of everything is new you can rent bikes you can rent scooters if you just want to flip and show them on that side you can rent some bikes over there you can rent scooters you can um, basically anything you wanted to do anything you thought you could do in a big city you can do it now here in Charlotte because that's just how quickly Charlotte is changing so yeah we have little cool little cute things about Charlotte now so I think we have to go across the street. Can we go? Can we go? Oh, that's a cute little swing over there. Okay, it's so hot. I should have brought sunglasses. Um, but so right over there, I don't know if you guys can see that shiny little building. Um, this it's like on Carson and Tryon, South Tryon Street. That restaurant over there is called the Midnight Diner, and I'm telling you, like that is the place to go for some of the best breakfast food in the area. Well, not just breakfast, everything. You know, when you're out late night, you know, partying, it stays open super late. And I'm telling you, after you go out, have a nice experience here in the nightlife of Charlotte, that is the place that you want to go to. So it's called Midnight Diner. You can thank me later. Okay, so we actually just got off the train again. Um, it's funny, we had to catch an Uber from the, last, um, from the last post to the train. Just because of all the construction, it was so difficult trying to get a bus. So we're like, okay, we'll just get a train. We'll just get an Uber. So we got an Uber, we got on the train. And guys, don't be, um, don't let that be a deterrent. The, the construction is only going on for literally, um, they said for about another week or so, and then it's going. The train will be flowing as, um, as promised and as planned. But yeah, so we got off at the I-485 station. We started here, if you remembered, because I said this is where the train starts. So I just thought it would be great for us to start, take you to where the train starts. Um, so yeah, the train starts here and it goes all the way up to UNCC. UNCC is the University of North Carolina and that's it. So yeah, so how was that? Did you like this video? What did you think about this video? Did you know Charlotte had a train? Did you know Charlotte had all those other things that we checked out today? So if you liked this video, I want you to go ahead and hit, um, hit that like button so it can help out the algorithm and others can find this video and learn more about Charlotte. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe so you become a part of my YouTube family. Remember, you can't lose with AO. See you in the next video.